Those against issue five were out in the cold for hours after being denied access to the Ohio State House in Columbus. Yesterday, thousands gathered, including a bus of people from Dayton, for a debate on Senate Bill 5. There was a hearing. We're on your side. With Governor Kasich's new response to the bill, some believe could crush unions. We went through negotiations the last few years, and where are we? Eight billion in the hole. We're not getting out of this mess unless we make significant changes, and we're trying to be fair to everybody. However, it seems protesters find the new bill to be quite unfair, and it showed as crowds met Governor Kasich in Canton last night. He was there on business, but he cut to the core of concerns being raised by protesters just outside the walls of the Canton Civic Center. I think they have a fear that somehow they're going to lose their pension. I mean, that's not what this bill is about. This bill is about restoring a balance so that employees can bargain over things like their wages. A balance that Mr. Kasich says will put other company issues in the right hands. When it comes to preserving pensions or health care, that's something that we think management ought to control. With Kasich's opponents coming down hard on the new bill, which would end collective bargaining rights for state workers, Two News learned that union labor hits close to home for the governor. I'm the son of a mailman. My father carried mail on his back. I come from McKees Rocks. It's a labor town. You just have to balance the needs of public employees against the needs of the taxpayers. Democrats still say there is no proof that getting rid of collective bargaining would save the state much money. And protesters, like this busload from Dayton, who made the journey to Columbus yesterday, recall the hardships of a time before collective bargaining was made mandatory. I saw a huge difference. We were at minimum. We had 40 kids in some of our classrooms. We did not have supplies. We had no input as to what our children needed. Afterwards, we could at least discuss with them. They had to bargain. Did we get rich? Heck no. But despite heavy criticism and protests, Governor Kasich is focusing on the bigger picture, and he remains hopeful that it will pay off in the end. I think over time, as we see you know, more companies staying in Ohio, when we get some victories of companies coming in Ohio, you know, people begin to say, you know, that was the right strategy, the right philosophy.